Hello everyone, this is Caesar on Toast, and you're watching all the mods to my modded Minecraft 1.11.2 series. And uh, there's been a new update to the pack that I've just installed. I think it came out today or yesterday, and it introduced dark utilities, uh, which is something that has a lot of cool and useful tools for making a mob farm. And we've already got the zombie farm over there, but I was thinking that we haven't really done anything with animals yet. Um, oh, by the way, the thing with the inventory getting deleted happened to me this update as well, and so I did have to spawn in some items, uh, just what armor and tools I had, and obviously I lost all the enchantments, which sucks, um, so hopefully that gets patched at some point. Um, but I'm going to carry on, and I want to build on this part of the mesa today, so I was just doing a little bit of clearing out there. And uh, we're going to make a cow farm in here. I've already got a design mocked up in creative and it is very, very funny to watch it in action. Um, so the blocks that we need to do, I wonder if we can craft them right here and now. We want the dark craft or dark utilities. So let's just do at dark. And it's these, uh, oh, we didn't even need the mob filters. What am I talking about? So basically I could have made this farm before but this uh, mod makes it a lot easier. So originally I was using the mob filters and then I realized that you could just filter baby cows out by their height um, with the design that I was using. And uh, so we're not actually going to use these mob filters, but be aware that they're there because they basically act as if they're air for some uh, mobs. So these ones, if a baby animal came up to that, it could walk through it. Um, but if you use the inverted kind, then anything other than a baby animal would be able to walk um, through it, but a baby animal that would be treated like a block. So they're really cool blocks, um, and I recommend that you check out Direwolf 20's uh, mod spotlight on Darkcraft because there's a lot of useful stuff here. But what we're going to be using is the vector plates, so we need sugar, slime, and stone, and we get eight of them, and we need 16 total. Um, it's kind of just for comedic effect, but it also has a tiny, <laughs> a, a little bit of a, a useful uh, thing. So we've got these fastest conveyors already from Simply Conveyors, but I want to use this kind. Um, so let's go ahead. We'll need two slime, two sugar. So we got some sugar up in our cupboards here. Uh, I just put that there. That's why I knew it was in that one. And we need four bits of stone. I think you could use andesite there, I saw. So let's just use that right here. And that gets us quite a lot of these. Wow, these are cheap. And the advantage of these over, say, the um, Simply Conveyor ones is I think they're a lot cheaper and you can convert them. Oh, I thought you could convert them just to the faster kind. So we actually need dark sugar, which needs withered dust. So how fast or slow are these? Uh, oh my goodness, they're very, very slow. So to get the quicker versions, I think in the Direwolf 20 mod spotlight, he could just craft them to change between the speeds, but it seems like we need to get some dark sugar, which requires wither dust, and then to get the extreme version, we need a uh, wither dust block. Oh no, I think corrupted? How do we get that one? Um, so it was just the wither dust block. So we basically need to go and kill some wither skeletons in the nether and we can actually go and do that, but I'm gonna do it off camera and uh, I will see you in a little bit. Oh, here's the computer craft stuff. Better not forget about that too. Um, yeah, so the other thing that I lost was all my cyberware. Uh, so that really sucks that we have, we had collected some of the improvements last time and I even lost them because they were in my inventory when I logged out and you can't actually spawn them in, I don't think, so um, very unfortunate, but uh, we've got to deal with some bugs sometimes in modded Minecraft. That just comes as uh, part, part of the parcel, I'm afraid. Um, so I'm going to go get to creating the fastest vector plates and then we're going to make the cow mob farm. And we got it. I uh, had to make two trips there because uh, I forgot that I had two sets to make and we actually got quite a lot of wither skulls there. Uh, so we might have to do a wither fight soon, but uh, that's probably not going to be happening in this episode. Um, so just got to put these things in the right chests. Uh, I also saw that there may be a way with actually additions to automate chest sorting, so we might have to look into that. Oh, 
goodness. Yeah, I've been away for a couple of weeks, so sorry about the delay between episodes, actually. And I've had some coursework to do. Oh, I didn't mean to go up the floor. Um, but I'm back now, and I will have time to make a few episodes at least in a row. Um, so there should be one every few days over the next couple of weeks, I'm hoping. Uh, but we've got the extreme vector plates, and these are, as the name would suggest, quite extreme. You saw I got quite the push there off that. Um, so what we actually want to do is we need some, we need to make some more glass is what we actually need to do. Uh, and I have made a couple handy little machines downstairs. Uh, so let's just grab two stacks of stone. Uh, we actually don't need too much glass and we need to get, make sure we have grey dye for it as well. Because that is the theme we're going with. Um, so let's, oh we got the double crusher as well. Ah. I should have brought uh, more sand down, but uh, we don't actually need too much glass. So let's go ahead and store these. In fact, we might need them. So the main block that we need from actually additions to make this uh, cow farm that we're going to make today is the feeder. So it looks, I think it's got a picture of a cow on it actually, uh, which is quite handy. So is there, is there one? Can I see it? Am I going to be able to find it right now? Or am I going to have to search? It seems like I might have to search for it. Oh, no, no, there it is. Automatic feeder. So this is easy. We need the wood casing, two gold carrots, easy uh, planks and coils. So let's let's do this on camera, sure. So the coils, we need those four. Um, in fact, I'm just going to have the feeder come up so I don't have to keep looking for it each time. Uh, four planks, that's easy enough. Um, yeah, let's just use oak for the, for that. Um, we need wood casing, just one of those. Um, the golden carrots, we've got carrots in here, so two of those. And I believe you make golden carrots with, wow, well, there's a lot of recipes. Yeah, so we need lots of gold nuggets, and we can do that by using this. So we just get those out of the compacting drawer. Um, what else? Black quartz for the coils. Uh, that's something we have quite a bit of still. Uh, yep, so let's grab that. And am I missing anything? No, I think we're good. So, basic coils. Let's craft those. Uh, two of them. Then the golden carrots. Two of those. Excellent. And then we can... Oh, we're missing the, the logs. So, there we go. Um, that's actually all we need to do it. And I also want a hopper and a crate. So I'm just going to grab this crate that I was using. Um, and we need a hopper. We might as well actually use a drawer for this. And we've got some drawers free. So let's do that. Um, that way we won't accidentally put the wrong items in it. And we also need a hopper, which we might have one. Yeah, I've looked in this chest several times now. And we can use that as the thing to gather our resources in at the end. Um, we also are going to need some some stone bricks. Why not? Um, we'll use the stone bricks for this design. Um, since I'm kind of getting sick of cutting down the trees, you can tell by the fact that they're floating up there. Uh, so I think we might be all set here to make this farm now. Uh, we also need the cows, so I'm going to grab... There's a mob grabbing wand that I've got somewhere. Teleportation wand, no. Oh, I realize these use RF, so we can actually use these wands, which is so nice. Um, it's got a little skull on it. Yeah, they're capturing wands, so we actually want to use that too. Wonderful. I think, uh, sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> the, the length of time that it takes me to get all this stuff together, um, but I believe we are now ready to go. Um, so let's go ahead and fly over to the cows uh, once I've eaten. And it is night time, so it's going to be super dangerous to build over there. Uh, let's go. Uh, do we have... Oh, we only have one cow. Great. Uh, no mob. Oh, we left click. There we go. Uh, so we've got our cow. He is our first cow. And uh, he's going to probably survive this whole ordeal because he's going to be one of the breeder cows. So we're going to have 28 breeder cows 
and uh, they're going to be ones that make all the babies that then get put into the second part. Oh, and we also need lava for this, but that comes right at the end. It's actually going to take us a while to get up to the uh, 28 breeder cows, so we can just gather the lava in the meantime. And we only need about four pieces if we're being efficient with its use. We don't need it, but um, it would be good. So the whole idea of this farm is it's like a blender <laughs> and then uh, they get fed into an oven. So these things are like swishing them around, banging them against a wall. And so the initial idea with Darkcraft was they would bang against the wall. It was made of the baby filter blocks. And so the babies would go through the wall and the rest of the cows would keep spinning around, uh, getting bread and then creating more babies. Uh, I was doing a <laughs> circle gesture with my hand there, so um, it was a bit like that. So, do we want them going left to right or right to left? Um, I think it's more convenient if we have the collection point over here. So let's build it backwards. So we want to have our crate where all the items go here. And then we want a hopper to go behind that. And yes, I am designing on camera, which I don't usually do. Well, I'm not designing, I'm... Uh, demonstrating the design that I already built. So let's do this and uh, that part at the back I think we just want to be... we might put glass in um, but we can do that later and we can just use all stone bricks right now. Uh, so we don't actually have to fill in all the blocks but let's just do it anyway too um, just for completion's sake and we can actually see the blocks underneath here so let's go ahead and replace those with some stone brick as well. <laughs> just undo all the good work I've already done. Uh, so let's do that. Um, put these here. And that's not supposed to go there. Oh, sorry. I might have to cut some of this out because it's quite frustrating to do on camera. And we actually do need a slab there, but we can put that in later. That's kind of one of the mechanical parts of the whole build. And yeah, I do have to knock a lot of blocks out so I can place these things in the right orientations and we are done so that is the collection point and uh we we finished on it that's that's it no i'm just kidding ah spider drop attack okay oh my goodness uh you are a special zombie regenerating no okay i think we need to go sleep that's uh what the universe is telling me to do okay should be a bit safer now ah no that guy's hiding <laughs> Get away from me. Um, this guy's gonna die eventually, hopefully. Uh, the regen won't keep up with the burning damage that he's receiving. Uh, so that's nice. And while we're waiting for him to die, let's just keep pushing him back. Maybe we can push him in the water. That would just get him out of our hair. <laughs> no, there we go. Okay, I don't think I want any of that stuff. So, what we need to do is create a little bit of space here and uh, I'm gonna do the mock-up design so just make like a wireframe for it and um, so we want to actually be able to see all the items and stuff pass between the different sections uh, so what we're gonna do is have a little window there and uh, that's gonna be where our items flow through from the uh, the slaughterhouse so to speak and uh, so that's gonna go like that and we want Oh, I've just realized we need more conveyor belts, but we might actually use the slow ones for these sections, um, just so we can see the items pass through if we happen to be watching this at this time. This whole area is going to be more farms, by the way, so uh, just building one of the most vital ones, a food farm inside the hill. Uh, so that's going to go like that, and everything's going to kind of be overlapping too. So, this bit, uh, the slaughterhouse is going to be a three by three and go three deep as well and um, so we don't actually need to dig it all out now I'll do that off camera and uh, it's gonna come across like this and then it go up like that and then across once more and uh, so everything's kind of overlapping in this farm which kind of makes an, for a nice design and um, it's gonna be fun to watch it oh creeper <laughs> you could see the you could hear the resignation in my voice as I did that <laughs> it's like nope I'm not even gonna bother turning around and swinging my sword madly at him and I will get rid of that uh, that bees nest uh, beehive in a bit 
And uh, the final bit of the farm is the breeding section. So this is going to be placed right here. And it's just going to be slightly too big. So we're going to have to dig into this hill here. Um, but that's fine. Uh, we can we can actually get rid of this whole bit of hill. I don't think we want it. Um, I'm just keeping this bit so we keep like um, the natural aesthetics of the mesa uh, quite quite nicely fits in uh, with this kind of thing. So let's go ahead and do that. So this is the rough shape of the whole thing. Uh, so we've got the breeding section the slaughterhouse section where the young ones go and then when they grow up they get burned alive lovely and then uh, the items get passed through into here so what are we going to do with these conveyor belts i hear you ask uh so basically the cows are all going to get spun around in here uh so we need to clear a bit of space out oh and this is gonna look nice in the hill we might actually put a window in the back of this uh yeah oh I didn't actually count the blocks out, so this is going to turn out pretty well, I think. Uh, so we need to also get rid of the floor. And, uh, yeah, ooh. This build's going to be nicer than I thought. <laughs> uh, maybe I should use the wood instead. Um, I don't know, though. Is that is that going to be too much wood? Because I, I think we overdid it on that building and this building. So uh, try, to, try to move away from that uh, for now. And we might actually need more stone bricks if we're going to do it this way. And more glass. Just just more of everything, really. Um, so let's go ahead and fill out the floor. Uh, now that we've knocked all the blocks out. So we're going to come out like this. And build it down like so. Um, maybe we put, put some actual ground underneath there so it's not floating. Uh, that's quite nasty. And then we do this. And for now, we'll just build up the walls with... Um, with the stone bricks, but I think we ought to replace replace this wall at least with glass because it is completely open to the lovely bay area we've got out here. Um, we we'll just fill this in for now while we're while we're building it. Um, no need to make it the final version right now. And then we've got this pillar in the middle, and we want to put the feeder right on top. And this makes sure that the cows are all in range um, so we can see here zero animals not enough to breed and uh, that's going to change in a bit and I've just realized that we don't actually have the materials to finish off this section uh, that's unfortunate and uh, I get rid of that because that's sitting on top um, yeah I gotta go grab more stone so bear with me on this one. Ooh, yeah, this is going to look good coming out there. Um, we might have to do something with the top of it. And we could also do some multi-level farms um, with this drop shaft at the end. Uh, and all the items just fall into this. And we could do a proper sorting system like we did it over there. But it's not completely necessary because all the... Um, I think all the sorting stuff that we have going on right now is still temporary. Um, so let's, while we're here, place down the conveyor belts. So we want to do it so this is the last one we place, so we can get out of there. And uh, you place them in the direction you are facing. So we want them to be pointing into the walls. Uh, so we've been... Oh, can we do it? Can we do it? Yes, did it. Uh, excellent. Didn't even need to think about that too much. So then we put in the koi, and you're about to see the comedic effect that I'm going for with the farm, so uh, prepare yourselves. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no, koi, come back! No! Oh, that was not the effect I was going for. <laughs> why? <laughs> oh, why? Okay, um, so those items are getting stuck in the corner. Oh, um, we placed these down wrong anyway. Uh, they're supposed to be, uh, goodness, we've got to pick them all up again. Um, so they're actually supposed to turn at the corner, so I just noticed the items were getting stuck. So good thing we didn't place more of these down, because it is quite annoying to, to change it. So, uh, this one's supposed to go this way, then, uh, basically like this. So when they hit the wall, they turn. That was what it was supposed to be. And then that is the block that they are going to, the baby cars are going to pass through, so we can do that. We could, instead of having the blank space we could always do it um 
Uh, I'm not going to get that block back, am I? We'd always do it with the filter um, if we want to be absolutely sure, but uh, cows are one and a half blocks tall, so they don't fit through this gap. The babies do. Uh, so we're good with that. Then place that. No, that's wrong. Uh, what was I saying about this being easy to do? <laughs> My bad. Okay, and then we're good. Sweet. So we've got the uh, first bit done, and uh, we should also... Once we have cows in, we, I think I'm just going to drop them through the top actually, so it doesn't even matter. And let's dig out the next section. I might do this all off camera because the next bit is literally the same, except it's got lava in and uh, no hole. It's got like, oh boy, I just realized I built this wrong. <laughs> Whoops. Um, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to finish this off camera. We didn't actually get to see the cows going round and round. It's supposed to look like a blender because uh, they all face outwards. And uh, we'll, we'll get it demonstrated by the end of the episode. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and finish this off now. We're nearly, nearly there. Um, all I need to do is grab some wheat and we will have the basic functionality sorted. And I can see it's already kind of freaking out. That's great. Um, this is not a serious design for a farm, um, just so you know. It is very much a novelty one and uh, it's probably not even the most efficient uh, we could do using the resources that we've got, uh, given that these can only handle up to 29 cows, so um, if you have 30 cows in this area, it will stop breeding them, uh, which is why we had to have the extra little bit of distance between here and the place with the babies. Um, so that's actually kind of gone a bit weird. Uh, he's rotating around the wrong thing, but uh, I don't really mind. Um, so let's let's pop the other cow in. I discovered the best way to do it is just to uh, push them over like this. Um, so then they're both in now. And uh, what we're going to do is plonk down our drawer, stick in the wheat, and uh, that's going to feed into here. And you can see it says enough to breed. And then I think the cows are now getting bred. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and go capture more cows until we have 28 and then we can start the actual murdering part of this farm, which is, uh, we all know is the fun part. Um, so these cows will keep getting bred and we will also be collecting, um, collecting fully grown cows from the wilderness around and we also need lava. So once we've got that done, the farm will be finished and that will be the end of the episode so I'll just keep it contained to this one build and uh, I'll go off and, and do the finishing touches now. So we're coming to the end of the episode now and we've nearly finished the farm but first as a little aside I'll show you something cool with cyberware so you know that from those zombies that we were killing last episode we get things that are salvaged but we want to be able to make the components ourselves. And uh, there's also some uh, mechanisms in Cyberware itself where you can get those zombies to spawn more frequently using radios. Um, so one of the things we want to do is use this Cyberware engineering table and try and get some blueprints so we can craft things. Um, so we've got a little setup here, so let's stick in the Neural Contextualizer, which is a way of swapping your uh, tools automatically, but you need uh, power when in use as you do with the uh, Cyberize. Uh, so I'm actually going to just craft these. So we got the blueprint for that and we got some synthetic nerves and uh, you can use those to make a component box. So uh, not what we want right now. And with the uh, eyes, we got something we did once, which is the fiber optics, which we can use to make the radio kit. So we've got the fiber optics and the next thing that we need is the solid state circuitry. Um, so you can actually craft these things. You need to uh, loot them from somewhere. Um, or get them from the salvage parts. So that's what those are for, if you were wondering. Uh, so let's go ahead and have a look at the cow farm in action. We might be able to activate it, I'm not sure. Uh, let's have a look, because we have to make sure that there are no baby cows left in this section, and there still are, um, although not many by the looks of it. Um, we also need more glass to cover this stuff up, and uh, as you can see, I've collected a lot of um, a lot of wheat from over there. So I'm just gonna fill that up. Oh, we don't actually need more glass. I filled it in. 
Um, so we got 28 animals, which is great, and we need them all to be adults. And uh, once that's done, we can break this block here. The babies will come flying into this one, and they'll be spun around <laughs> like that until they grow up. And uh, their nice juicy steak remains and leather will get thrown through this section and into this small storage crate here. Um, so pretty good builds for one episode using the um, dark utilities uh, stuff to make that and um, we'll probably expand more with uh, different farms maybe sheep pigs and we'll have to make a custom one for chickens because they are different heights uh, so we might build those all around in this area but that's uh, all I've got time for today thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one bye bye